Welcome to Lone Star, where I review bad movies because Mary McKillop is becoming a saint. What? I'm not Catholic. So anyway, I watched the movie Caved In. It's actually a TV movie released on the Sci-Fi channel in 2006 that my dad found. So that's why you probably got no clue on what I'm on about. This movie is about a family who instead of going to the Greek islands, travel to Switzerland. And then the father, John Palmer, is used by thieves to steal some emeralds. So here are just some of the things that make this movie bad. 1. Badly animated giant rhinoceros beetles. Now seriously, that is some truly obvious CGI. Here, watch. Oh, mother -ney. What they could have done is spent a little more money on that department and made the Beatles a little more realistic. Not to mention to me, they were a waste of time. 2. Didn't do the research. First of all, how the hell did Beatles become like that? It was part of my knowledge that Beatles were small, selfish, scavenging creatures. And not giant social meat eaters that have a queen. A queen beetle? Are you out of your mind? And if they're flesh-eating beetles, what do they eat down there when people are not around? Truly illogical that beetles could even live 2,000 feet underground. 3. Where is the plot? Seriously, is this a movie or a freaking video game? I would have personally preferred Halo the movie. Not to mention nothing happens at all. So what happens? They go into the cave. The giant beetles meet. They die. More giant beetles come. They kill one person, and then they all die. You get the idea. Also, the mother in this was like the female Rambo. 4. The acting. Okay, some actors were good, and the others, especially the teenagers, were awful. Like in the Troll 2 review, I'm not going to be convinced if you constantly scream. Why didn't she, Rambo, just shoot her in the head? She was that annoying. The sun wasn't any better. Just with less blue murder screaming. Now the bad guys, they were just one dimensional. To me they were plain evil and had no qualities about them. 5. Minds in this movie do not look like real minds. It baffles me that after 50 years of abandonment, the mind looks like it was just close yesterday. They didn't tell him. There is no way that lighting in a mind could be that bright. To me, I thought that minds were pretty damn dark. Also, if you actually looked at a mine, you'd find that the structure of it is nothing like what it was in the movie. It's more of a dark pit. If the mine is next to a lake and has been abandoned for 50 years, can anyone tell me why there is no water in the mine? There should be heaps of water for the supposedly dehydrated people stuck in there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my review of this bad made for TV movie. So comment below telling me your opinion of this film, and I'll see you next time. And by the way, my friend Alex, who appeared in one of my videos in August, has a new channel. Go subscribe!